Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today we're gonna take a look at um, actually an add-on um, that comes with Blender 2.8. It's actually uh, made by Jack Luke's and on his video here, it's called Scatter Objects Add-on. Um, you can go to his channel and then he actually takes through, uh, take you through all the steps on how to use the, the tool. Uh, it is st still currently still being worked on, so it's still kind of beta. Same like Blender uh, 2.8, still better, but uh, you can play around with it and it's actually really, really cool add-on and it's really, uh, I think Jack Sluk uh, created the add-on so that he can experiment with the, how to kind of uh, work with the instancing. So let's just get started. Basically, you enable it by going to scatter. So there's an object scatter objects made by Jack Luke's version 0 0.1 uh, save it and it is already working um, but there are a few things that uh, in order to make it like a, a better scatter objects like uh, many people requested that so that uh, when you use the, the scatter the scatter object actually kind of like it's not overlapping um, so I just made a uh, four objects here and I'm selecting those four objects they, they're gonna be the instant objects for the scatter and this cube here it's gonna be where uh, we're gonna kind of uh, scatter the objects so let's get started select all of these and then select this guy the last and simply command F and then scatter scatter objects and you can actually start scattering the objects. You can start kind of painting on the on this cube. So where is the options to control all this scattering? Uh, it is apparently over here. Currently, it's a uh, it's placed over here. It's a uh, so you can control the density, the radius, um, scale, randomness. If you make the radius really small, you can see uh, that's where you place and scatter the objects. And you can control the rotations, offset it, randomize the seed. So it's really cool. As you, you are painting, you also notice on the left corner here, there's a, that's the number of instance objects that's being generated. And it's really, uh, kind of, you can test um, the strength of your computer, depending on the memory and the GPU you can actually go like you can have really high numbers and that's a kind of a way you can test your computer whether it can handle the, the the amount of particles that you want to create if you want to go over millions or something once you're done with it you just tap enter you realize it disappear and it left you with all these little triangles the triangles actually uh, in blender it's kind of like a if you want to make like a duplications or instance objects, triangles is a good way to do that because it has the, some kind of orientations. It has the normal, so you know, you know how the object is gonna be. So, but where is all our instance? They are apparently under collections, and they're placed under this um, collection called scatter. If I'm not wrong, if I tap one, two, three, that's uh, where I I can jump between. The collections and scatter it's very interesting actually and then you can turn on the copy so i just turn on all the copies and now we can see uh, the scatter objects they are not like a uh, real objects they're not like a mesh that you can edit but you have the the parent here here there's the the torus there's the icosphere cube and the cone right and yeah they they are all re uh, representing our scatter objects and they are all if, if we made changes for example to the to the to the torus here maybe like uh, randomize maybe I will use modifier and I'll go inside go to edit modes and then just uh, Command F and then randomize. So I'm randomizing the torus. You, you realize each and every instance now 
is having the same mesh so that's a uh, that's interesting and then but anyhow you can select select all this and then alt G to reset the positions and then you can play around with the with the rendering the shading um, you can test your computer I think this is a good way to really see how how much uh, your computer can handle uh, complexity like I said this is like a maybe a way for Jack loops to play around play around with the idea with the uh, instancing and then he's probably working on the particles the new particle system in blender for blender 2.8 or up it's gonna be using uh, nodes so yeah this is really really cool if you are if you're new to blender and you want to play around with the particles anyway you can you can do so uh, I think this is the particle panel yeah you just create a particle system and you have these points representing the particles and you can just add instancing uh, to the particle I can't remember how to do this but I think you simply assign a assign it as instance objects with the particles so emissions okay that's the number of particles start and end rotations on and off render as objects and where's our objects okay that's our objects and what is our objects is the maybe instead of another cube I'll have Suzanne so Suzanne instance object Suzanne SU so now we have Suzanne being instance so again like I said it's instance objects and normally if you have like multiple objects you will use group but anyway let's get back to what we are doing before so we have a cube and we have these objects one two three four and we can scatter on this let's actually use another target scatter and then make this one like that um, I wonder if this works on this guy just a uh, common common F and scatter so yeah apparently it works on the sphere uh, it's the subdivided box so that's kind of cool scatter 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 and then setting setting is here uh, let me check very quickly the radius is here scale randomness rotation offset it's pretty cool and um, yeah you can randomize the seed everything works and then press enter again they disappear but if you go one two three you can see it's kind of switching between the collection scatter and scatter zero zero one scatter zero zero one is the one that you want so I believe that's a uh, that's how you do it okay tap one and everything appears again so that's a uh, collection is still something that I get used to um, still kind of new for, for blender 2.8 um, but yeah, like I said, this is a really fun way for you to play around with a lot of objects. In the past, um, I mean, this is a really, really fast way you, you can scatter objects and they remain instant objects. If you try to export it and then you didn't bake this guy, you won't see all this because they are instant, special instant objects in, inside Blender. But instant objects is really, really important because if you, if you kind of want to export it, um into another package um yeah it's a it needs to remain an instant object as well so well anyway um yeah i think we kind of touch on that idea and then we play around with jack look jack's look um scatter objects it's still in beta but still pretty powerful you can try and test your computer see how many scatter objects you can your computer can handle by drawing the scatters and I think it's quite a, it's quite nice and then you can render this out anyway with Eevee you know and you can use uh, like lightning so uh, 
there we go it's all real time it's, it's amazing it's actually really amazing there is no other render engine that's as close to this and it is also open source and yeah so yeah give it a try and yeah let me know what you think and if you have any anything to add anything to comment um yeah let me know thanks again for tuning in to this bs live and i'll see you next time thank you bye